Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I'm having yet another one of my fireside chats about the state of the GPU market. So I have now unsuccessfully tried to purchase the RTX 5090 uh, three different times from Best Buy. It was in stock, not in my cart. You know, I entered the queue, as you have to in these situations with Best Buy. And I give Best Buy credit on trying to manage this situation as best as they can. But inherently, every time I get in that line, it hangs and eventually tells me the product has sold out. So uh, I've given up on trying to follow any resources that are directing us, all of us, towards where availability will live. And I think at this point, I'm going to call uh, my search for the 5090. After all, I have a 4090, wish I had more than one, uh, but I am more than happy with the one I have. It performs incredibly well. We know that the ceiling on the 5090 architecture is literally 15% beyond what the 4090 can achieve. I have had the ability to buy uh, 5080s both on launch day as well as multiple times since launch day. They do sell out very quickly. This is all at the same time that I see the restock of the, the 5090 uh, inventory. However, I literally have no reason to entertain the 5080. Uh, it does not approach my 4090, about a 15% gap there on performance. Uh, which means that something like the 4080 or 3090 Ti, while both are bested by the 5080, I see no reason, especially with the 4080 or any of the cards that are slightly improved upon the 4080, 4080 Super, etc., to entertain the 5080. Uh, so again, the 5080 makes absolutely no sense for me. That seems to be the only GPU that's really, I won't call it readily available, but available at all, especially if you want to build. Um, I particularly am very interested in the uh, Legion uh, 7 desktop Gen 10 that will be coming out soon. The Area 51 from Dell, also very, very promising, a throwback to what uh, Alienware truly was once upon a time, although the design language is not similar at all. But the price is just beyond egregious. They're looking for over five grand for a 5080 build um, Intel chipset, uh, I think a four terabyte NVMe. And I think it's like 64 gigs of RAM, but there's no way that computer, which will literally underperform my present desktop, is worth over five grand. So this is part of the problems that we're all going to experience if you're looking to buy a new computer, new GPUs. Unfortunately, um, what I can tell you is that here in February of 2025, prices seem to be going up, and I don't anticipate they're going to be going down anytime soon, uh, especially with all of the tariffs uh, and the really more about the unknown of the tariffs than what to literally expect. That is just a death knell for pricing, inventory, supply in general, and demand eventually is going to rule where pricing goes without any other nefarious things at play. So um, I'm glad I've got the 4090. If you still have your 4000 series GPU, I think you should be happy. If you have a 3090 or a 3090 Ti, just as I said in my previous update, on the state of the GPU world, you're in good shape for now. Um, but anyone who's in those, you know, mid-tier 3000 series cards or older, even the mid-tier 4000 series cards, if you're really looking to step up to 4K gaming, you need one of those new GPUs, especially since the 4000 series are no longer being manufactured. Forget about 3000 series cards. You can still find these, but pricing has become egregious. I do not recommend buying these cards over retail simply because there are no other options. Uh, patience is key right now. And um, of course, what I would say to all of you that are GPU list, because I know a lot of people, you're, you haven't gone through what I've gone through and many of my uh, counterparts here, my buddies, which is that this cycle of thinking you will sell your GPU ahead of launch and just replace it with fresh money is good on paper, not in real world application. And this is something that I learned years ago, and that's why I generally try to scoop the top tier GPU SKU or wait for something like the, you know, the uh, the 90 series Ti. Of course, we didn't get one with the 4090. I would almost guarantee, even though I'm not sure it's been confirmed, that the 5090 will have a Ti because it just didn't bring the performance that I think a lot of people thought. But then again, it could still be a limitation of architecture. Again, the most exciting part of the 5000 series GPUs is that new cooler on the 5090, which is not even universal to the lineup. So that's another reason that's my target card. Um, it's just incredible performance in what now can be a tiny build. But again, 
I'm not going to entertain a 5080 or any of the other cards. I think the 5070 is probably going to be a sweet spot for a lot of budget uh, builds. Not that it's so budget conscious at 550, but you know, a thousand dollar 5080 reference, uh, or I should say, Founders Edition, is already enough to kind of make people vomit, and I get it completely. And that's what you really need for 4K gaming if you don't have one of these or one of those or a 3090. Uh, let's just be real. And 4K gaming is what I've been doing now since 2015, and I absolutely adore it. Could not. I have gone back in certain ways, like with uh, my Samsung 57 inch ultra wide mini LED uh, that. You know, I've been waiting to do 8K, 240 hertz, but there I was doing, uh, of course, 8K at 120 hertz, but it wasn't it wasn't a step down from 4K, of course, because it was 8K, but uh, because it was ultra wide, it is a very different experience. And I've dabbled with high refresh at lower res since that's what we've had access to in years past, but I've never really liked the trade-off. I've always, it's kind of 4K or bust, and that's why the 8K, 240 hertz panel made sense to me as an alternative to 4K. Uh, presently, just to give an update so everyone knows what I'm working with, uh, I have Asus's, you know, 42-inch uh, ROG OLED, which was the first true OLED monitor uh, to launch uh, stateside. And then I also have uh, the LG uh, Flex that came out at the end of 22, that TV that is a curved, a bendable OLED uh, TV slash monitor. Still love it. Of course, Samsung, uh, uh, excuse me, LG has a refresh now of that essentially not in the form of a TV, but a monitor, which is what I would have preferred to have had from day one, uh, that 5K 45-inch uh, panel. But none of those things, the reason I'm going through monitor talk here is that that's kind of what steers the GPU conversation, besides needing it for rendering, uh, video editing, things of that nature, which all of these are going to do an excellent job. Of course, the 5090 will be best, uh, 4090 right behind it. And that's, again, why I'm staying pat for now. I'm going to, you know, I said, I think I'm going to give up on that 5090 hunt and just kind of reserve uh, or really stick with, not reserve, but uh, stick to cutting this stress of GPU chasing out of my life and just focusing on that Lenovo, again, uh, Legion desktop, the 7 uh, series Gen 10. It looks excellent. It's got Thunderbolt on board. And that's really one of the big things I love about uh, this current gen of desktop PCs we're all going to get a taste of is that they're finally integrating uh, Thunderbolt or, you know, or even beyond uh, connectivity into the motherboards, which has always been niche, always been laptop uh, centric. Now we're going to finally get a taste of that in the desktop world. That for me is reason enough to upgrade for many of you. Of course, that is irrelevant if you're not in, you know, video editing, photo editing, you probably don't care about that. And I totally get it. That's why I do what I do. I try to speak to every walk of life, not one. Uh, but that's where my head is at. Uh, so right now, I actually just re-imaged, uh, re-imaged, listen to this English, re-imaged uh, my desktop uh, with the 4090. And it's working beautifully. Still some bugs, but the new 5000 series drivers, actually a new one dropped today. Today is the 13th, day before Valentine's Day. I haven't tested that yet, but the one from the 5000 series launch, I gained frames, for example, uh, in Helldiver's. Uh, running at native, I was pulling about 120 frames now, whereas before that it was a little under 100, so a 20 frame gain there. This is not scientific, but it's real. Uh, still having a lot of problems with the NVIDIA app with uh, Capture. Wish I could fix the red tint from HDR. Not possible. Keep tuned uh, for gaming content. That is going to be coming soon. But yeah, again, a fireside about GPUs. I want to know what all of you are doing. I want to know, are you sticking with the 4000 series? Um, are some of you trying to find GPUs in the uh, aftermarket, which is a, a bit of hell? I know it all too well. Not trying to rhyme, but I do it all the time. And I, I get it. I've been there. As I said earlier, um, I do have a lot of my GPUs. I just I stopped selling them years ago because of this cycle that happens every two years. I just never want to be in the camp of being GPU-less and thinking that because I have money, I'll have a GPU because that is simply not the way things work. Um, I've got, as I mentioned, this 4080, 3090 Ti. I've got a few 3090s, uh, 2080 Ti. Yes, I go back that far, still sitting in the system that uh, I custom built for it. And um, I'm sure there are some other, I think we've got a 10,000 series GPU in the house. I think there's a 1080 Ti, uh, I believe. So still, still some GPUs around here. And of course, I have a 3080 that I showed all of you in an eGPU enclosure. And then most importantly, that 4090 that I recently acquired, uh, which I'm grabbing right now to bring in frame, which was part of the last video, 
which I absolutely adore. A uh, quick update on this. I'll be doing a separate update on it, but the performance here is just boss-tastic. I mean, we are getting 3090 Ti desktop, this card performance in this breakout box. And then the fact that it, you know, is a full-blown hub uh, with all the I.O. you could possibly need, it is just phenomenal. It also delivers power to the acronym, so I really don't need anything other than this, and it becomes a full-blown, again, 3090 Ti desktop, um, still slim, modular, just incredibly cool. So sad to see Asus move away from this. The new eGPU enclosures are Thunderbolt 5. I talked about those in a dedicated video. Um, they seem amazing, but there's no hardware to make use of them right now. So ironically, this 4090, because of the proprietary uh, connection port, actually has more PCIe lanes, more performance than I think the 5090 is going to have in the newer Z13 hardware that's AMD based. But that wraps things up. Um, hope everyone's enjoying whatever hardware they do have. And if you don't have anything, I think your best bet this is the last piece of advice I leave everyone with. Get a 4000 series uh, GPU based laptop or desktop. You'll be happy. I highly recommend going 4080 or 4090. Those There are still plenty of those out there. And in the laptop space, go 4090 if you can afford it. A buddy of mine just got uh, the Legion uh, 7i uh, with a 4090 from, I think it was B&H. That was about 23, 2400 bucks. You just can't go wrong with that machine. The Legion 9i's when they go on sale, that is my favorite laptop on the market. Keep your eyes peeled for a review, full review of that soon. Uh, can't go wrong with that guy, but very expensive. But again, any 4090 laptop that's getting the full 175 watts, I mean, here it's only getting 150 watts, and it performs, again, very similarly to that 3090 Ti, um, which is just amazing. Close enough, frankly, getting there to a 4080 desktop GPU, and the reason being they are the exact same chip. 4090 mobile, 4080 desktop. It was just one of those uh, better things that NVIDIA did that some people picked up on. I literally picked up on it um, in more ways than one. So love that 4090 mobile GPU. That to me is your best bet, best investment of money in a laptop deal now. If you can find it, um, you will not be uh, sorry about that. Other than the fact that battery life, of course, won't be amazing, but that will not be the reason you're buying it. It will be for its overall performance, gaming capa capability, video redder, uh, rendering, photo editing, and a better ability to speak English than me in this video. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe, folks. Later.